It's men, women, and families living in traditional shelters and corporate hotels across New York City could be on the cusp of a brighter outlook and a potentially faster track to independence. I think that New Yorkers want solutions, and uh, the kinds of solutions we're putting in place are the kinds of things that should have been in place many years ago. In just a few weeks, effective January 1st, Human Resource Administration Commissioner Steve Banks will also be responsible for overseeing DHS, the Department of Homeless services because Commissioner Gilbert Taylor I would definitely give us an A for effort is on his way out resigning according to the mayor Commissioner Taylor faced increased scrutiny over his agency and his own performance following our November 17th interview with him the question now will the overhaul with new leadership at DHS address the core issues at the heart of the homeless crisis or simply put a band-aid on it Commissioner Banks held a roundtable at City Hall Wednesday to discuss the particulars. Getting people off the streets into safe havens and into supportive housing is the way to address people on the streets. Dr. Ralph DaCosta Nunez, CEO of the Institute for Children, Poverty and Homelessness, says the only way to begin ending the homeless crisis is to focus where it often begins. No one talks about families. No one knows that children are the largest group of population in the shelters today. They are the homeless. Nobody knows that it's a story of kids, a story of youth, a story of education, a story of what's going to happen in our city when these kids grow up because they lost their young youth, they lost their opportunity to complete their education, and now they're going to become a different set of problems. It doesn't need to be that way. For taxpayers, just how the city houses homeless families will remain a concern as long as DHS continues renting thousands of corporate hotel rooms for much higher than the market rate, sometimes without any accompanying social services to those homeless families. It's an issue that is reflective of uh, the buildup of people in need of shelter. That's among the reasons why we want to put such a priority on ensuring that we can prevent every entry into shelter that's possible. Even for New Yorkers who are tired of hearing about the homelessness crisis, they will never be able to escape the fact that, as taxpayers, they are still carrying the burden. Commissioner Banks says he intends to try to streamline the services that are offered by both agencies in the future during this reorganization process. One cost that's going to remain on the books for now, Commissioner Gilbert Taylor's salary of more than $200,000 a year as he continues as an, as an advisor during this process.